Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So today we're going to be covering the best free screenshot extensions. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So firstly, before we get into detail about the add-ons, what exactly is the Mozilla Firefox? So the Mozilla Firefox is a free and open source web browser that offers a fast and secure web browsing. Now there's at least over 100 million users actively using this browser already and has grown over the years to become one of the most popular open source products for the web. Now, of course, um, it's around the tier of Chrome as well, uh, the Chrome browser, or for Google, so or even the uh, Microsoft Edge as well. Uh, so it pretty much ties in within that bracket. So that's pr uh, pretty much what the Mozilla Firefox is. Now, of course, what we want to really look into are what are Firefox extensions? So, Firefox extensions, also known as plugins or add-ons, are like apps for the Firefox browser. Now, it brings a whole new level of functionality to make the user's experience a lot easier when browsing the internet. Now, of course, an example of this, uh, which we'll demonstrate later on, is that if we are using the screenshot ones, uh, a screenshot extension, uh, of course, you have your shortcut keys, which you can use, but not everyone knows about that. So this is where the add-ons become very, very handy. So you'll have a little puzzle piece on the top right. All you need to do is select it. You can screenshot your page. You can video record that page. Or say you own a business and you have SEO um, extensions as well to help you with ranking uh, or traffic as well, just to see how your... Um, your website's getting on for each page. So there's a lot of different uses as to why you would need or want to have a add-on or also known as a, a Firefox extension. Now, there are hundreds of Mozilla extensions that are created for different functionalities by developers. Of course, at the start, uh, it wasn't as good as Chrome. Uh, Firefox did initially lack from useful plugins, uh, hence why it wasn't necessarily used as much. But over the time, uh, this has now changed and it's as good as using the Chrome extensions and when browsing using Chrome. So of course, another known question to be asked is, are Firefox extensions safe? Now, the quick question to that is yes, they are generally safe, but just as long as you take the extra precautions uh, when downloading a specific extension. It's always best to pick the recommended ones or the ones that are featured, as well as the ones that have good reviews. Now, third-party dev developers do create the Firefox extensions, but most popular ones are subject to safety checks before Mozilla accepts each new version. So this is, of course, when they're updating or uh, whatever has the most recommendation or featured. And there's just a lot of consideration into picking an actual extension. Of course, there will be several ones available and they will all look the same. So just make sure, as I said, take the extra precaution before downloading the extension. So now that we've covered the three vital uh, questions, and uh, now that we've answered them, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the screenshot add-ons that you can use straight away uh, without any fuss or hassle. So we'll go ahead and get started. So starting off with our first one here is called Movavi. Now, this tool can grab your screen at multiple sizes. Uh, it can be specific parts of the screen, or you could even do a full screen if you wanted to. Now, this includes all open tabs, so the, um, pretty much just any of the tabs that you've got open. Um, pretty self-explanatory there. Now, what's great about this as well is browser frames are excluded from the image capture, so you don't see any of the other tabs that you have available or, or even like the bottom area where you have your apps and stuff. It just captures or purely captures that screen. So it's an easy tool for new users, so you'll quickly pick up on taking screenshots. It's simple and high quality as well. Now, what exactly is featured? Screenshot uh, of the entire page, so pretty much capture an entire web page with ease, no need for scrolling, it scrolls automatically to screenshot it. So you'll pretty much get like uh, from top to bottom, so from header to footer of what exactly you wanna screen grab. And our next point there is a screen cap of a selected area. So you can frame an area you want to uh, capture. So that's another good thing about that. 
Uh, another one here is screen grabbing. So the visible part pretty much and grab a visible screen um, and show it to other people uh, from what you can see. So it's pretty much just a screen grab, show people what you can see and then that's pretty much what that is. So now that we've looked at the Movavi one, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next add-on. Okay, so our next add-on here is called Fireshot. So also known as Fireshot Full Web Page Screenshots. Now, the only unfortunate thing, well, not really unfortunate, but the only downside to this is it doesn't really have a modern interface per se. However, it does get the job done in terms of the screenshots. It does pretty much everything you need to make a simple screen capture. It might actually be very, very handy for people that are starting off or people that are new to using a screen grab or a screen, a screen capture extension. Uh, this would probably be it. Now, what exactly is featured? You've got uh, it can capture multiple sizes, uh, just like Movave. Now, it creates a screenshot of all open tabs with one click as well. Has standard editing tools. And what's great about this as well is that it supports different formats for, save, for saving. And this could be a JPEG, PNG, a GIF, and so on. So that's another great thing about uh, the use of Fireshot. It's a very, very simple interface or a not so modern interface, which doesn't uh, mean that it's not the best. Of course, uh, sometimes the less, the better. You, you might not need to have all of the modern interfaces in the world in order just to just screen grab. So that's what's great about Fireshot. Uh, also do stick around uh, to the end of the video because we will be looking over the different add-ons there. I know we're just going through it with this PowerPoint, but we'll also, uh, we'll also go into the uh, Firefox browser add-on itself. I'll show you guys how to add it in and where it'll be located and how you can remove them as well. And on top of that, we'll do a couple of demonstrations. So uh, other than that, we'll move on to our next screenshot add-on. Okay, so our next one here is called Awesome Screenshot. Now, this extension is a multifunctional tool that takes screenshots and also records the screen's activity. So this would be great for anyone that's probably doing some blogging or uh, people that are um, trying to stream something online or a web page. So that, that's another great use for the Awesome Screenshot. So as well as screenshotting, uh, an image or a web page, it actually also records the screen's activity. Now it offers a wide range of features. So what exactly is the, uh, the features? We'll start off with the screen recording one. So it records the desktop and current tab as well. It supports sharing recordings. So that's what's really good. Two little uh, features there, but uh, very handy as well. Now moving on to our screenshotting features. It offers different sizes for screenshotting. So this pretty much just occurs for all of the add-ons anyway. They offer different sizes, but of course some out there don't. I'm just list I've just been listing out the ones that do. So uh, it's up to you on what extension you want to use. So this one offers a full page, selected areas. You've got visible areas as well. Our next one there is simple editing tools like cropping, blurring, annotations. You can even have watermarks things like that for the awesome screenshot. So that's what's really good about that. And on top of this as well, it supports copying a screenshot directly. Okay, so now that we've covered the awesome screenshot add-on, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next one. So our next one is the Nimbus screenshot and video recorder. So just like our previous one, uh, this also does a screen recording. So Nimbus is another great tool for screenshotting, as well as that it is great for recording videos too. Now, uh, it has many features that a blogger would also appreciate. Uh, you can add your own watermark to the screenshot or, or video, pretty much just to brand it and make sure nobody uh, steals or copies your content. So what exactly is featured? Now for the screen recording features, you've got it, um, the, the fact that it supports annotations. It records video from you, your screen and webcam. It converts the video to GIF. And it supports publishing videos on YouTube. So of course, 
some people would want to upload the, their videos onto YouTube, especially if they're video recording or um, say recording on their actual screen or webcam. So that's what's really good about the Nimbus screenshot and video recorder. Uh, so moving on to the features for screenshotting, uh, it captures the entire window or a part of it. So again, captures it in multiple sizes. You could do a whole screen from top to bottom, uh, or you could do uh, some, you know, just some selected parts. Supports saving images directly to cloud storage, so that can be handy for some people as well. And also offers standard editing tools, cropping, trimming, as we said, watermarks, annotations, and things like that. Uh, so now that we've covered the Nimbus screenshot and video recorder, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next one. Okay, so pretty much our next one here, as you can see, are pretty much the other uh, screenshot captures that you can use. We've got Easy Screenshot, Light Shot, uh, the ones that we've covered there, which is Awesome Screenshot and Screen Recorder. Uh, the Nimbus screen capture as well. Uh, pretty much just have a look at some of the different ones available. Now, these are just the ones that I've suggested, of course, which is Fireshot, we've got Movave, we've got Nimbus, and we've got Awesome uh, Screenshot. Now, as I said, there are other ones available out there. Just please do take the extra precaution uh, just to make sure that these don't contain any viruses, things like that, because you do have a CRX file that's downloaded within your computer uh, for you to run the extension. Uh, as you can see, the, it goes up to at least one of 36 pages, uh, depending whether you actually have that as an extension. So uh, as you can see, we have 573 extensions found for screenshotting. So pretty much just up to you on what you want to pick, uh, what you want to select. Uh, as you can see, there are a bunch of different ones there. Uh, so anyway, what we want to focus on is to actually go ahead and select one of the uh, screenshot add-ons that we have. So this one here is Awesome Screenshot and Screen Recorder. Now it's as easy as adding that to Firefox and once that's added, it uh, adds it to the actual extension, as you can see. Uh, sometimes you do re get redirected, sometimes you don't. Um, so we'll just do that. And okay, so now that we have pretty much just uh, an area of where we could screenshot, so I'm just going to search up for Conley Cove. This is one of our um, our websites that we have. So if I wanted to screenshot this, uh, let's just say that I want to screen grab the entire page. As you can see, it automatically sc screenshots each part of the page without me actually having to scroll down. So it automatically scrolls down for me, which is great. Don't have to do anything. And as you can see, this is an entire screen grab of that page. What's great as well is I can choose to uh, blur out some areas. So say I wanted to blur out um, the haunted places for Nor uh, Northern Ireland. All I would need to do if I want to crop out that image is pretty much just do that. So there you go. And that's pretty much it blurred out. Uh, of course, I can't undo this and redo it if I wanted to. I can also add text. So there's a bit of text there. I can drag it around. I can choose to erase as well. Uh, now I can change the color if I wanted to, change the font and text. Uh, I can have an arrow. So say I wanted to add an arrow here. I can go ahead and do so, or have an arrow here. So there's a lot of things that you can do with screen grabbing. It is very, very uh, handy to have this, especially if, uh, say, you wanted to uh, have a PowerPoint, or um, yes, if you're trying to show people or, or an audience of some certain parts within a web page, or not even just web pages, it could be a particular lesson online, uh, this would be a great way to do it. So pretty much uh, just remove these two. And yes, uh, as you can see, there's other um, tools that you can use there. Uh, if you do go premium, you do have the options to have a call out, uh, step, uh, add some emojis as well, and add some images. So that's another feature to have. Now, of course, uh, there is other ways to capture. So I could do a 
visible part of the page if I wanted to. So as you can see, it only captures what I was able to see within Conley Cove. And here's another area where I can actually select a specific area. So I could do Conley Cove for the logo and just capture that. Uh, so that'll click and go. And that's pretty much the logo. I've got uh, myself a logo. So of course I could keep going on and showing you the different uh, add-ons. Now, if you do decide that you don't want to use that add-on anymore, just go back to the add-on that you were at and just simply remove and then that's it. That's it removed for you. Yeah, again, you can add that to Firefox. It'll add it again. You can remove it. You can add and remove for as many times as you want. So that's another great thing about using the Firefox add-ons. But yes, guys, that is pretty much the end of the video. Of course, as I've said, there's plenty of extensions out there. So just take the extra precaution to make sure that you're picking the right one or you're wanting to pick the right one. Of course, I have just listed out some examples. So feel free to use them. And hopefully it does help you with your experience on using the browser. Anyway, if I have missed anything or if you want us to cover anything at all, please do let us know in the comment section below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you for the next video. Thank you very much.